Hi, Tom here with this week's Circle Line Art School video, how to draw a railway station in one point perspective. The first part of this drawing is to build up from one point perspective. In one point perspective, all the parallel lines that go away from us will meet at the vanishing point, which is on the horizon. The vanishing point can be anywhere, but in this drawing, I only put the vanishing point in the centre of the drawing. So the first step in this drawing is to draw two horizontal lines, and then on the top line, we're going to put a dot for the vanishing point. The next step is to draw two vertical lines either side of the dot to make a sort of H shape and each of these vertical lines needs to stop and start at the same place. Next we're going to draw two diagonal lines starting from the vanishing point and going to the bottom of the two vertical lines that we drew a moment ago. And then we're going to draw two more diagonal lines going up from the vanishing point and touching the top of the vertical lines that we drew and then extending off the page. The next step is to draw two more vertical lines starting from the lower horizontal line, the second line that we drew in this drawing, and then as they touch the two diagonal lines, and then we'll make a curve to make an arch. Next, we'll make another arch linking the other two upright lines that we drew earlier. So next, we'll draw two more diagonal lines that go from the vanishing point to the front of the picture, and then we'll draw another vertical line on the left and a vertical line on the right which will be part of the structure of the railway station and we'll just do a curve at the top as well to make another arch so we've got three similar shapes going through now and now here on the left on this diagonal we'll just add another diagonal line to give it a thickness and we'll do the same on the right where that thickness reads across we can make one of the first columns of the railway station that we're drawing so at this stage we've got the central platform and we've got three arches and three columns. So we can add some more columns now and as the columns get nearer to the vanishing point in the centre of the page they'll get closer together and as they go further away from the vanishing point then they'll get further apart. And we can connect these new upright columns with more arches and again the arches will get closer as they go nearer the vanishing point and further apart as they come closer towards us. Next we'll add a few more diagonal lines in the roof of the railway station which will be useful when we start to add a little bit more detail later on. So next we'll need some more diagonal lines coming again from the central vanishing point to create the platforms and the areas where I might put a train in and then I'm going to extend an arch on the left and an arch on the right and these will start and stop on the second lower horizontal line that we drew at the very beginning of the drawing. So we've got two arches in, then using the vanishing point, hitting the bottom of the arches and then continuing along in a diagonal way that will enable us to read and find out where other arches will go which will still be in one point perspective so in a sense that's making the, the ground where the arches stop and then we can read across from the original arches in the central platform, reading them left and right and making little marks on the new diagonal lines that we drew and then that will show us where the columns on the left and the right for these new arches will stop. And so now we can start adding in the arches on the left which are going to stop at the basis that we just worked out and then we'll do a similar thing on the right, creating a whole new set of arches on the right. So at this point we've got the arches going to the vanishing point in the dead centre of the drawing. Then we've also got secondary arches on the left and on the right. And now I will copy the central arch and repeat that on the left and the right. I think it's time now to put the train in. I'll put a Victorian train in because it's a Victorian railway station. So to draw this steam train, I'll start by drawing the front of the steam train by drawing the funnel and then I'll draw a curve underneath the funnel which will represent the front of the train and then the back of the train will be going always towards the vanishing point. And so at this stage we've got the basic shape of a complex Victorian railway terminal with a basic structure of a steam train on the right. I'll speed up the video now and the next steps will be to make some of the lines darker so I can see which lines I need to keep, erase some of the marks which I don't need anymore 
and then add a few more details and perhaps I'll put a few people in and some luggage and things like that at the very end. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, for over 100 videos that I've made of how to draw in various different ways. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make a comment. Thank you very much again for watching and see you next time.